friends welcome back to my channel techno education academy in this video lecture we will discuss about fundamental units first of all what is fundamental units all the physical quantities used in physics are expressed in terms of three fundamental quantities length mass and time three fundamental quantities the units of these fundamental quantities are called fundamental units or base units then what is derived units the unit of some physical quantities are derived from fundamental units such units are called derived units so uh, we can consider the example of derived units area its unit is meter square velocity its unit is meter per second acceleration its unit is meter per second square okay so these are the derived units from the fundamental units in system of units there are four system of units which are commonly used and uh, universally recognized cgs system mks system fps system and si system the full form of uh, fps system foot pound second the full form of uh, cgs system centimeter gram second and uh, in mks system and the full form of mks system meter kilogram second and uh, si system okay its uh, fundamental quantity is its meter kilogram and second and the full form of si system is international standard system the fundamental units in si system are meter kilogram and second in uh, uh, international level okay this system is mostly used in si unit there are seven fundamental units two supplementary units and a number of derived units the first one is fundamental units okay these are the seven fundamental units of si system length mass time temperature electric current uh, luminous intensity and amount of substance okay length okay its unit is meter and its symbol is m okay for uh, geometrically uh, measure the dimension okay we are using this physical quantity mass okay its unit is kilogram okay to measure the weight of any substance okay we are using this fundamental quantity mass time okay to measure the time okay it is uh, uh, measuring second hour okay minutes okay and the time it is the physical uh, fundamental quantities temperature temperature means it is the sense of hotness or coldness of body okay its uh, unit is uh, degree celsius and kelvin and in si uh, system its unit is kelvin electric current ampere its unit is ampere luminous intensity uh, luminous intensity means it is the quantity of light emitted by an led or bulb in a particular direction per unit solid angle it is called luminous intensity okay its unit is candela and the symbol is cd and uh, for uh, molecular mass okay we are using uh, amount of substance its unit is mole so these are the fundamental units of si system then uh, supplementary units plane angle and solid angle okay plane angle uh, its unit is a radian and solid angle its unit is steradian then what are the derived units okay we have already discussed okay the derived units means uh, the units derived from the fundamental units it is called derived units okay these are the uh, derived units in si system the first one is force force means it is the external agency due to that body is occurring a motion it is called force okay and uh, its unit is newton the second quantity work work means uh, force into displacement okay whenever we apply some uh, force on the body at that time some displacement will be there it is called work done okay we have already discussed in my previous lecture there are uh, three definition of the work the first one theoretical definition force into displacement the second one mathematical definition p delta v we have already derived it in my uh, thermodynamic lecture series the equation of work done equal to p delta v delta w equal to p delta v 
and the third one area under the curve in PV diagram. It is the graphical representation of the work done. So the unit of work. Okay, we have already discussed what is the definition of work force into displacement. So uh, the force it is measured in Newton and the displacement it is measured in meter. So its unit is Newton into meter per joule. 1 Newton into meter equal to 1 joule. The next physical quantity is power. Power means the rate of doing work. It is called power. So rate of doing work means uh, rate of work done. Okay, work done divided by time. Work divided by time. So uh, we have already discussed. Okay, the unit of work is joule or Newton into meter. And rate of doing work means per second, joule per second. So one watt equal to one joule per second. The next fundamental quantity, energy. Energy means capacity of doing work. Okay, its unit is joule. Okay, there are various forms of energy, kinetic energy, nuclear energy, thermal energy, mechanical energy. Okay, I have already prepared one video lecture. Okay, different forms of energy. Okay, in my thermodynamic lecture series. Okay, if you want to clear your fundamentals, how many types of energy, what is energy, then you can watch this video. And uh, the next quantity is area. Okay, its uh, unit is uh, square meter. Okay, meter square. The next one is volume. Okay, its unit is meter cube. These are the geometrical quantity. The next quantity is pressure. What is pressure? Pressure is the force applied perpendicular to the surface of an object per unit area over which that force is distributed. And uh, its unit is uh, Pascal. And we know that 1 Pascal equal to 1 Newton per meter square. There are uh, various types of pressure we have already discussed in my previous lecture. Gauge pressure, vacuum pressure or we can say pressure below atmospheric pressure, absolute pressure. Okay, you can watch uh, this video in my playlist of thermodynamics. The next physical quantity, velocity. The velocity uh, means it can be defined as the rate of change of object's position with respect to uh, a frame of reference and time. It is called velocity and uh, its uh, unit is meter per second. The next physical quantity is acceleration. Acceleration means uh, it is a rate of change of velocity and uh, its uh, unit is meter per second square. The next physical quantity angular velocity. Its uh, unit is radian per second. Angular acceleration, its unit is radian per second square and the next quantity is momentum. What is momentum? Momentum means mass into velocity. It is called momentum. It is the product of mass into velocity. We have already discussed in Newton's second law. The rate of change of momentum is proportional to force. At that time we have discussed uh, what is momentum in detail in my playlist of engineering mechanics. Okay and uh, its unit is mass into velocity. So the unit of mass is kg and uh, the unit of velocity is meter per second. So the unit of momentum is kilogram meter per second. The next physical quantity is torque. What is torque? So torque means the force into radial distance. Okay. And uh, force means Newton. Its unit is Newton and the distance it is measured in meter. So its unit is Newton into meter. So remember guys, the unit of torque is Newton into meter, the unit of work is also Newton into meter, the unit of energy is also Newton into meter, the unit of couple is also Newton into meter and the unit of moment is also Newton into meter but these all are the different physical quantities. So density, density means it is the ratio of mass divided by volume. So we know that the unit of mass is kilogram and uh, the unit of volume is meter cube. So density means mass upon volume and its unit is kilogram per meter cube. The next physical quantity is couple. What is couple? Couple means to equal and opposite forces acting some definite distance. It is called couple. We have already discussed in my engineering mechanics video lecture series. So there are various examples of couple. Okay, for example, whenever we drive a car, 
okay at that time we applied uh, to equal and opposite forces on the steering okay so it is the example of couple whenever we open the uh, water valves okay at that time we are also applied to equal and opposite forces so it is the another example of couple so to define the couple okay we required two forces both are uh, in equal magnitude both are in equal magnitude and in opposite direction and its unit is newton into meter the last physical quantities in dirac units is moment moment means force into perpendicular distance okay in real life example for example whenever we open the door okay at that time we apply the force okay with respect to uh, origin of the door or we can say uh, with the um, hinge point of the door okay at that time we apply the perpendicular force okay on the handle of the door so it is the example of moment okay so here we are considering perpendicular distance okay so moment means force into perpendicular distance it is called moment its unit is newton into meter so these all are the derived units so these are the si prefix okay in multiplication factor uh, for example in any of the uh, quantity okay it is given in giga pascal mega pascal okay at that time uh, we are using this prefix okay so 10 raise to 12 means it is called tera it is called tera 10 raise to 9 it is called giga so giga equal to 10 raise to 9 mega equal to 10 raise to 6 for example uh, the value of pressure is given uh, in kilo pascal okay so multiply by 10 raise to 3 because we know that kilo means 10 raise to 3 mega means 10 raise to 6 giga means 10 raise to 9 tera means 10 raise to 12 so respectively these all values okay we can use in prefix okay it is multiplication factor okay so kilo means 10 raise to 3 hecto means 10 raise to 2 deca means 10 raise to 1 deci 10 raise to minus 1 okay and 10 raise to minus 2 it is called centi milli 10 to the minus 3 micro 10 to the minus 6 and nano 10 to the minus 9 so these all are the multiplication factor it is using si system so thank you guys for uh, watching this video i hope this content it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends